Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to see how to make a quilted bag with a tiny pouch. The link to get the pattern is in the description under the video. To make this tutorial you will need 1 meter long 4 cm width bias tape a quilted fabric for the outside a lightweight fabric for the lining a 30 cm long zipper a 21 cm long zipper a 3.5 cm large wabin 120 cm long a 1 cm wide wabin 10 cm long 1 1 cm wide snap hook 2 3.5 cm wide snap hooks a 3.5 cm wide sliding buckle Print and cut the pattern pieces Pin the pattern pieces on the fabric as shown in the cutting layout Cut the pieces Put the pattern pieces on the lining and cut them. Before removing the pattern, transfer the important markings to the fabric. Mark the centers of the 30 cm long zipper. Place the zipper on the top of the outside of the bag face right sides together and then place the lining on the face right sides together well in the middle. Stitch 1 cm from the edge. Do exactly the same with the second side of the zipper and the second face of the bag. Clip the rounded edges of the top of the bag. Clip the fabric right side out and top stitch 5 mm from the edge. Fold the bag outside to outside and lining to lining, open the zipper. Place one edge of the outer perimeter on the edge of the outer face right sides together matching the markings. Pin the second edge to the second face of the bag, right sides together, matching the markings. Stitch each side 1 cm from the edge.
Place one edge of the perimeter lining over the edge of the face lining right sides together matching the markings. Pin the second edge of the perimeter lining to the second face of the bag right sides together matching the markings. Stitch each side 1 cm from the edge leaving a 12 cm opening on one of the edges to flip the bag over. Trim the excess from the zipper. Clip the rounded edges of the bag. Flip the bag over through the lining opening. Pin and stitch the lining opening. Take two pieces of 10 cm long and 3.5 cm large webbing and thread them through one hook each. Fold the webbing in half. Slide one of the straps through an opening in the end of the bag right sides together. Then slide the second strap through the opening in the second end of the bag. Stitch both ends 1 cm from the edge. You can sew it by hand if your sewing machine can't pass the liars. Flip the bag right side out, pulling on the strap. Take a piece of bias 6 cm long and 4 cm wide. Flip over the corners of the bag. Fold the long side of the bias inward by 1 cm. Place one side of the bias width on the seam of the bag's corner, right sides together. Stitch 1 cm from the edge by machine or by hand. Fold over the free side of the bias by 1 cm. Then fold the bias over the corner of the bag to hide the seam. Stitch by hand using a slip stitch. Place the small zipper between the perimeter of the circular bag and its lining right sides together well in the middle. Stitch the sides 1 cm from the edge. Flip the piece right side out and top stitch all around the perimeter 5 mm from the edge. Place a small piece of webbing in the small snap hook and fold the webbing in two. 
Pin the webbing on the perimeter right sides together at a distance of 2 cm from the zipper. Stitch 5 mm from the edge. Place the lining on the reverse side of the bag face and stitch all around 5 mm from the edge. Mark the middles of the bag's perimeter. Place the perimeter on the face of the bag right sides together matching the markings. Open the zipper and place the second face on the second side of the perimeter. Stitch both sides 1 cm from the edge. Clip the rounded edges of the bag. Fold the bias end inward by 1 cm and place around the bag. Stitch 5 mm from the edge. Fold the bias towards the inside of the bag and stitch using the machine or a slip stitch. Flip the bag over. Take a 1 meter long 3.5 cm large webbing and pass one end through a snap hook. Then fold and stitch the webbing to hold it in place. Pass the second end through a slicing buckle, then through a snap hook. Then pass the strap through the sliding buckle a second time, this time from the bottom. Fold the strap over the back about 2 cm and stitch. Attach the strap to the back. Your bag is ready. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments or message me on my social media. All of the links are under the video.